After a nice crossing with 30 knots of wind from northwest, we stopped in Fiscardo, northern part of Cefalone, to allow Paola to get her plane back to Italy. The village is cute, the harbor is really tiny, and in that conditions you have to anchor at the entrance of the bay with a line ashore. It is quite complicated with the strong wind coming from the side. Right off the port of Fiscardo there is a very good fish restaurant, not a tavernacle, Tassia. The morning after, we could go south, stayed in the channel between Cefalonia and Itaca. So we reached Castos, a wonderful small island in front of the mainland coast of Epiro. One of the most beautiful islands I saw in Mediterranean. A lot of space to anchor, crystal clear water and a tiny village ashore. In Castos was waiting for us Tiziano on Freya. In fact, it was his suggestion to come here. And we spent a couple of days hanging heavenly. In the village, just on the beach, you can find Traverso, a very good cocktail bar. You can have dinner in Taverna Bellos, in front of it. This is very good and right by the sea. And in case you want to continue your night, there is the nice A.E. bar. In front of Castos, there is Calamos. Calamos deserves a tour. Very different from Castos. It's, this island is very high and super green with woods. And here also you can find good spots for swimming and snorkeling. In front of everything, there is the co Greek coast of Epiro. If you plan to stay overnight in the harbor, note that the harbor master, George Georgios, is also the owner of the best taverna of the village. Don't miss it. And in case you like to spend the following day ashore, you can walk to Agrapidia Beach, that is warmly recommended. On the way back, we visited Atokos, one other spot super amazing for spending a day of swimming and relaxing. Praticamente ieri col traghetto ho avuto una crisi isterica. C'è mancato tanto così. I need to make a special mention for Frikes in Itaca. Never more in my life I'm going to come back in this nightmare of an arbor. When the ferry arrives, practically 30 knots until after the entrance of the harbor, a hell of waves smashes all the boats that are inside. After Itaca, we made an amazing tour of Cefalonia. The spots we loved to swim were right south of Essos. At last, we spend the night in Antheras, a calm and beautiful bay with two restaurants ashore and a church. verso Argostoli, un gran bel posto e un'isola stupenda da tornarci. The Greek tour for this year stops in Argostoli, the main town of Cefalonia, close to the airport and uh, with all kind of facilities you can imagine is a natural reserve because there are tribe of marine turtles. So 
you have to be very watchful uh, about pollution. The harbor is public. You have to put your anchor and then pay a very small fee. The people of the municipality will pass in the afternoon. You can find all kinds of provision in here, but to put fuel, you need to book it and to move at the entrance to the dock where a small truck will come to refill you. In Argostoli, Manuela left and arrived Ambica, a 